Super Mobile. Welcome back, everyone. To some more rainy days in Ravenhold. It's uh, it's a bit wet there. Uh, we are back in uh, some more manor lords. This is episode 17. We'll have another two or three after this. Uh, probably another two, I imagine. Um, I'm hoping to be able to get these out consistently one day after the next, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, hopefully. Uh, I do have three days of about 12 to 14 hour days ahead, and I've been recording these, uh, day of, so, or day before, so. Hopefully, we get to keep that going. The goal is to move towards, uh, arming up the militias. So, I'm thinking, probably, uh, in the north here, we'll, we'll get a militia together. Over here, we'll get a militia together, and then we will have... Uh, probably nine troops at that point. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's get an archer band from each group. Let's do that. We can have uh, both towns get themselves a uh, Fletcher. I don't even need to fuss with uh, prioritizing this any differently. Where do we have some tier twos? None. Let's put a tier two right in here. Okay. And then we're going to get one over in Pinewood as well. Uh, sorry, over in uh, Waldbrand. Wolbrand can have a, probably a person right up, well, let's see, right up here, I think, because you don't have a backyard assigned yet. Let's get you going. Uh, so that will mean we have, uh, well, where are the planks going to be? That's, is that where planks are going to be stored? Are they stored here? They are stored here. Good, good, good. Okay. So now we've got the, uh, the armor here pumping out some, uh, chest pieces at the moment. Some mail. I had to catch up with the helmets. Um, I'm thinking we're gonna need uh, Gambison as well. Now, where are we gonna make that Gambison? Are these are these guys over here doing Gambison or uh, needing Gambison? If we do archers, yeah, the archers need Gambison. Okay. In fact, everybody needs a Gambison, doesn't they? Don't they? They need help, Gambison and and male. All of them. Okay, so we need Gambisons everywhere. We'll get the bows made locally. Although we do have a lot of bows, I think here. No, just 71. That's not a lot. Uh, Gamison is going to be a tailor's job. So let's go ahead and find our tailor. Uh, now the question is, do we do we upgrade this tailor or do we add another tailor? I could switch this guy to a tailor. Um, I suppose this would be best if we just upgrade this. Let's do that. Let's upgrade the tailor shop. That'll add a second family in on that. Um, we, do we need more brewing happening? Let's look where the chain is on that one, because that was an issue last time. We have molten beer here. Uh, the tavern has some beer in it. Uh, do we have, uh, beer stored in the granary? Not that one. And not that one. Okay. That's troubling. Right. Malt shop's empty. That's concerning. We do have malt here. Okay. Is, are we out of barley? We have no malt there. Oh, no, we have, uh... No, that's flax. We are indeed out of barley. Really? How did you manage to malt all that barley that fast and not have it stored? Or is the barley... Is the Has the barley been moved? No. No. Wait, what the heck? Where'd the barley go? Did it go to this one? No, that's grain. Weirdly enough, grain getting stored right there. I have no idea why. There's nobody in that that, that uh, granary. There's just nobody here. Uh, so I don't know why they're doing that. But anyways, uh, stocks damage sheep farm. What? This is weird. We're getting wool. Oh, is oh it was over capacity. Right. So the the fifty. Is, is stored in the in the sheep farm, but they sheared more, so it's it's over over capacity, which means they're having issues. Okay, we have flax, got lots of yarn there, so the yarn is not being used. That's part of the problem. How close to being done is this? Not at all. Okay, let's make that top priority. We have a bazillion people. I just realized that we have a bazillion people working here. Uh, some more on the charcoal. I think they're okay for now, actually. The mine could be putting out more, but what could we... We could also probably get going in logging. And do we have plank work? We have very little planks left in the whole place at all. We'll go with uh, three in each of those. And then the sawmill... Or saw pit as well. 
Okay, timber's there. All right, that leaves us with two builders. Let's keep time rolling here. We gotta make this fast, so... We're gonna run out of time. Burgage plot tier two in Pinewood Glen. Excellent. Can you get that guy set up as a uh, Fletcher, please? Lovely. They have enough families here to easily foot a 36-man uh, uh, group. I would like to set... I'm in Pinewood Glen. Can I set another militia here? Pinewood Glen Archer Militia. Done. Now, they're missing bows, but we're going to make those now. And they got 36 people assigned. Excellent. Hey, on this... Ooh, wait, what's going on here? Hold on. What are you short on? Work area empty? What work area? Oh, right. Because you were probably hyper-focused for a bit there. Yeah, you were focused in on some new development there. Let's go... Uh, let's go over this way. No, let's go over this way. You'll, you'll forest up here. Deforest up here. Boom. Rip the countryside down, man. You got work to do. Oh, what's the other one? There's another one there, isn't there? Ah, uh, yes. The forager's plot is empty. Okay, and actually that forager should not spend any of his season working on that. Let's make sure our hunters are set. Wait, the tannery has three now? Is that new? I didn't think it had three slots in it. I could be wrong. Uh, woodcutter's Lodge. How are we doing on the firewood? We're okay. We're not generating charcoal here. We are importing it, though. 27 of 40. We're getting a bit of hunting done. Keeping up with hunting a little bit. Um, we could probably use some more people in uh, transport. For sure. Is the sheep farming happening? It is, indeed. How many sheep do we have in-house? We have four sheep and a lamb. There we go. We got our first lamb in. Lovely. Excellent. And uh, population here and here. We're doing okay. We got seven... Seven free bodies at the moment. The mine is entirely empty, I do believe. Looks like it is for sure. Let's go ahead and remove that job and demolish. Excellent. We have eight spare uh, families or spare people right now. Eight spare families. Uh, you guys can go ahead and up the probably the leather. Let's see how the uh, leather numbers are doing here. We got a lot of hide. Um, we don't have a lot of meat. We don't. We're not overly. Oh, not meat. Sorry, it's egg. We're not overly abundant on egg. So let's go with that. And that. Good. Livestock trader is not that urgent right now. We could do more logging. Although it's possibly not urgent as well. Uh, we are going to actually need another... Some more logging and some more saw pits. Because they need to make planks. And then this Fletcher right here needs to uh, take those... Uh, oh, I wonder... I wonder if we should connect a road here. Can't get through there. So we'll go right here. Like that. There we go. Lovely. Still six extra people free to work. Uh, we could add another person in the ground, I suppose. Oh, and the apiaries are not manned. There we go. Let's get some honey production going. Is there more than one apiary or just the one? Just the one? I think you're only able to use utilize two. Hey, can I fit in there? Ooh, it can't right now, but let's put it here. Oh, it's too steep. Oh, there we go. We're right there. Nice, right beside the uh, Fletcher. So as he's making bows, he's getting it stung by bees. Excellent. Good work, guys. Good work. Keep up the great work. Uh, we are over here. We're not up in uh, Selbitz yet. But that might be the future. I hope it is, for sure. So over in uh, Waldbrand, we have a seasonal function here, which... Uh, has the berry workers, so they are off off job now. And we've got our hunter down here somewhere. Where are you? There's the hunting camp. Hunting camp's a little close to town right now, isn't it? Let's move them on down the road. They can go catch food better further down that way. All right. Uh, hunting camp does not need to bring stuff back to sale. And they're down to five animals somehow, and they've been told to limit it to ten. <laughs> the most they're allowed to use is 10. All right. Uh, we do have a few extra families available. Let's see what we need here. Uh, you don't need more storehouses. We do need a pack family there. Let's get the animal on. This one is tra taking helmets for carrots. And this one is going to take... Um, going to go to Ravenhold. It's going to send... Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da, mail. And receive... What? 
We could receive planks. We have a decent amount of them here. Oh, we could we could bring in meat. Uh, veg, eggs, bread. We could bring bread back. Let's do bread. And the animals will come, so the first pay, pay us pass or two of materials is going to be pretty lame. That's okay. Uh, we did have this open to store the armor and weapons, right? And I think I want to... Well, do I want to change that? Apparently it's not set to trade to hold them. Okay, so where are they? They're not there. Uh, there is some mail being sold here. That's fine in the trading post. This one doesn't have anything, so where is it? Ah, there's the helms. Okay. Good. Alright, well, this is a level one. We need to get it upgraded. We are short on timber. We're not short on timber. We are short on supply of food. Which is which is uh reasonable because we're definitely out of food. Well, that sucks. Uh Pinewood Glen got its burgage uh, plot finished here. Good. Nice. Uh, we could have some more. We got the chickens upgraded there. We did not chicken upgrade here. Lovely. Keep it going, Matt. Guys, keep it going. There we go. You're done. You. You get chicken. Oh, you already had chickens. That's what you were working on finishing. Got it. Now, I wonder if we need any of the walled defenses and stuff. I'm curious how vital those are. Uh, so let's see what we're actually putting out here. Crafting, huh? Can I see what you're crafting? Where you're crafting? Uh-huh. Excellent. Your work in the apiary. Your dancing. He's doing he's doing the motion. But he's uh standing a little weird. <laughs> now he's practicing. Hey, lay off, man. He's practicing. He's got to practice to get it right. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade the church. That would be a wise choice in bo both towns. Let's head over to uh, wood. Um... Oh, we are. Oh, we're short on the planks. Right, the tiles. Let's uh, add that in. We do have some manpower, so now's a good time to do this. Uh, wait, did I set one in? No, I didn't. Uh, now's a good time to put in a tile production. Actually, it can go right up here. Next to these trees. And then the mine. Is the mine in place? I don't remember if I placed the mine. No. There you go. So do those. And then get some. we'll get some tiles made for uh, housing and other upgrades. Wonderful. You guys have all been set with your plots. No, you haven't. How are we doing? Do we have uh, hides in surplus at all? We got 73 leather. So we're not short on leather for sure at the moment. Although, we should start making boots. Maybe. Hmm. What do they need to make the gambeson? Is it linen only? I think it might be flax. Uh, the weaver makes the... We're not making much flax here, are we? Oh, are you full? Are you too full for the flax? Where's the yarn? Why do you guys not have yarn stored here? I've limited those from having yarn. Darn it. So that's actually bottlenecking the production. Yeah, because the yarn is not always used, and right now, it's not been using. Tailor shop needs the rest of its tiles, a bit of timber, uh, one timber and a bit of planks. Come on, guys, get this done. That's important. Once we get those gambeson cranking out, we should be okay for a while. And we glad the family has moved in. Excellent. More tithes. More treasury. We got money, that's for sure. Are we able to hire uh, mercenaries? No more serious com companies available this month. It's been that way for a very long time. All right. I don't, I don't know what to do about it, but let's get this guy to finish up this last timber. There we go. Making the uh, Fletcher here in town. I guess he could have been 
done over here, that would have been more efficient. Well, I guess, you know what, hold on. We don't have to have him here, I suppose. This is just a tier two house right now with no families. Hmm. Okay. What if we uh, come in here and add a few homes along along here? Yeah, actually, not right behind the storehouse. Let's do about this far. Uh, not uh, quite. Not quite yet. Up there. There we go. Boom. Do it. Alright, let's get that one done. I think we might have it there. The warehouse is right here. Maybe it's super fast. Get those bows in there. Uh, conversely, we could get this guy doing something else. Hmm. What, though? I need cobbler to make some shoes from the leather we get. But we don't get a ton of leather here. Brewery, but we need to import our malt. That's expensive. You know what? You guys get chickens. For now. That works. We'll, we'll put the uh, Fletcher over here. Just makes more practical sense, positionally. Alright. Tier 2 with no food and no clothing in the stall. I didn't have no clothing. We had 75 um, leather available. Hold on. How do we have no clothing? Do we just have not enough uh, clothing stalls here, or what? F food stall. Food stall. Food stall. Food stall. Food stall. Firewood stall. Clothing stall. There you go. Clothing stall. Firewood. 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 And empty. You have 26 leather there. Uh, um. Um. We have 32 leather in house. We have 33 living spaces. Huh? Why are you guys short on clothing? Entirely out of clothing. I'm a little confused. I'm more than a little confused. No food and no clothing at all. Uh, there's 144 berries. So we have the berry availability. We should have the fruit availability. 31 in the berries. Oh uh, yeah, we don't have the second variety, but we should get one. 31 is not 33. Yeah. Oh, 31 is the number of plots we have though, isn't it? So 78% coverage, meaning that the secondary food is not being supplied, and yet that guy should have some coverage. Unless I'm miscounting, but I think it means that there's... Uh, with 33 and 4 building? Where's the 4th? Wait, where's the 4th building? Oh, this one is saying it's plus 4. Hmm... Okay, go ahead and upgrade you immediately. Is you get precedent because you're prioritized by being close. All right, good approval rating. Very happy with that. Uh, how do we do on building up here? Did we get the mine in? We didn't. Let's get that mine going, and then get this going. Then we'll be able to get the tiles to get uh, the church upgraded. That'll help boost things here. Ah, silly, crazy abr abrasive pop-ups. <laughs> Treasury's up. A Ravenhold family market stall tailor shop. What? Family requests more market stalls. Really? The tailor shop is requesting market stalls. I don't need the tailor to be to be doing marketing. Do not need. Solid don't need. Um We don't have a lot of uh, a lot of cloaks though, or hoods though. We have shoes and we have cloaks. We should do hoods for a while. Hoods require one linen and one dye. Are we going to be short on dyes again? Do, 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 do. Dice is dyer shop there. Okay, you. Oh, we are definitely going to be short on dyers if we have none. Darn it. Lots of berries, though. I wonder if we should set um, berries as an import as well. 
It is. We could let it import externally, though, as well. No, I think it should be fine coming from the other two villages. If the other two, indeed, are both exporting it. Let's see, are we able to, are we exporting berries here? We should be. Let's check that. We're not. Berries should be exported when over 100. There we go. That'll be a local-only export. Nope, it'll be a local-only export if I click the button. Uh, all right. Can't afford to import, like, meats and stuff. That's super expensive. Exporting... Armor over 40. Um, wait. Allow foreign trade? No. Don't want the armor being traded, actually. And I don't want the helms being traded. Uh, so let's go over 36. Wait, does our, does our militia take precedence here? Oh, I don't have a militia here. <laughs> so the answer is then big old fat no. Uh, Waldbrand, to get your people ready. 26 helms, locally. There we go. And they should have 26 male shirts pretty soon. Or do they have to take them in order? Uh, do we have to get, like, the gambeson on before we can take the male shirt? We got 28 helms there that are not assigned to people. Or, uh, male shirts that are not assigned to people. I wonder if the militia has that limitation. They're getting all their helms assigned. And no, uh... Hmm. Are we short on timber and stuff? No, we're not. We're just short on getting things done. That's what we're short on. Ah, the clay is almost done. No, it's not. This is done. The furnace is done, but not the clay pit. Yeah. Well, finish this up anyways, boys. They dump in there once the timbers are. Are we just short on animals? Just not have enough oxen here. We have two oxen. Oh, good gracious. Let's get some more. For sure we need some more. Timbers all fine. It's not the issue. Maybe it's just a logistics issue at this point. Leather's good. Iron slab and stuff is good. We are producing. Yeah. Need to keep bringing the timber in, is it? That doesn't take timber. Why is there timber here? Oh, requires... No, requires refueling, but that shouldn't... Hmm? Why is this place... Not working? They have 20 shirts there now. So maybe it is a it is a sequential thing? Like they have to get the gambeson says zero of two? <clears throat> I think that's the case. So we need the gambeson before we get the mail. Oh, that makes sense, because that's, that's what they're limiting on. Because over here, none of our militia have gambeson at all. And none of them have male shirts. Oh, that one does, but he's also got his gambeson. Ah, oh, I see. Okay, well, if that's the way it's got to be, that's the way it's got to be. Alright, uh, you're short on what? You're short on tavern supply again. Yeah, we're not getting enough barley in. And we've got money. Maybe we need to make sure we get that barley in. Let's say we're going to import barley to maintain... Uh, 50. Yeah, it's expensive. It'll be a big cost. But getting the barley in, we'll get the malt shop, keep the malt shop going. We have zero barley. We have zero anything else either. Uh, well, we got flax. We have flax and wool, so that's okay. Do we need more weavers? We 105 linen. 72, or 67, sorry. Looking at two numbers at the same time. 67 yarn. Okay, we got a lot of flour to make bread with. Do we have a lot of bread? We have some bread, but not a lot. I wonder if we could uh, bump the oven up a little bit. We are... We did just start an, an export on bread. I'm going to shut them off food to the market so the granaries can do that. And focus on that. The granaries should be able to supply that. 
take a little workload off them. Linen being sold, tools being sold, little apples, little barley. Oh, that's been brought in, yes. Now, are you good on livestock? Uh, that was an autosave bump. Peddling, going home. We just don't have ale, eh? That's just what it is. We just don't have the ale. We have zero ale right now. 110 shoes, however. In case you want to get a shoe company going, this is not the place to start. It's a little bit of a flooded market. Yeah, we're, we're telling them to export at will a lot of shoes. Doesn't seem like it's happening. Is that because there's a... Do we need another trading post? No, we got shoes in the trading post. They're just waiting for the merchant. Okay, where's our trading post shoe merchant? I guess the thing is, if we have the merchants that are specialized, like this guy, they'll take they'll take care of the job. Are you literally right there, dude? You're nowhere. You're nowhere. Uh, weird. You're you're not jumping too. Oh, somebody's. Oh, there he goes. Somebody exists on the map. All right, just checking. You know. Oh, he's leaving. Fair enough. I probably would be too if I was freezing. Had somewhere else to go. Maybe not. There's that beautiful and small stone church built in. Excellent. And our animal uh, pop population. We have still the one lambs. We need another like number of days. Hey, the four families of freezings. Freezington. Uh, did you finish your Fletcher? Excellent. And you're bringing in planks? And you should be putting out the weapons? No. Oh, you know what? Our weapons are probably being allocated immediately. Yes, we have 14 of our archers ready in Pinewood Glen already. Excellent. We're getting there. We're getting there. Nobody has been, uh, fully equipped with, uh, uh in Waldbrand yet. But that is the goal. Where's our Fletcher going in? There he is. Let's put in that Fletcher. Wonderful. Did we get the clay work set up? The mine is ready. And the tile maker. Alright, we got three guys in there. This is a a uh, very quick to clear out mine. And then we'll for now put one person in there. That's okay. We're going to add a person to our storehouse to immediately get more work going and upgrade our granary. So both of those get to up to, to speed. Wonder if this can be trimmed somehow. Who's providing the clothing? Forager? Forager should not be. No, no, Forager. The Tanner, I mean. Tanner, let's say you don't provide that. And we're going to put another body over there. Do we have hide to be used? We don't at the moment. The Tanner's not able to do that. I mean, he can, honestly. That's fine. If we let him. Uh, let him do... If we let him do peddling, what happens is they'll just stand here and then they'll go get stuff from across the street. So it really doesn't slow down because he's not got very much work at all. It's kind of a very lax job, to be honest. It's a kind of a lazy job. New families joined over in Pinewood. Excellent. And we need more planks delivered here. Can our builders come and do that, please? One. Come on. Two, three. You got this, boys. Oh, last house in the down the, the line going in. Good. All right. Now, food-wise, we don't have much eggs coming in. So I'm going to go ahead and get these guys going on chickens as well. And we're almost done the Fletcher. Boom. There should be. Okay. So, Fletching should begin. Making of the bows. We're not going to export bows, as far as I know. There are no weapons being exported, right? I mean, aside from the armor that's being shipped. Now, this is interesting. Do I hold any here? I don't think we do. I think we say ship them all out. Because as soon as they become available for what they need, like this town has uh, 14 elms already assigned. Um, Is that... I don't know why that is. Is that when we, what we had the most at the time? Yes, we're out of helms right now. So we're doing mail right now. Okay, that's fine. Maybe we do two. Maybe we do two spots to be 
working on this. It's possible. Uh, because you're doing shirts and then we're going back and forth. And every town needs them, but Elms first. Okay, let's wait for this guy to be ready to upgrade. We need we need better food supply in the next year. Right now we're, right now we're okay with berries. We're getting we're importing a little bread. We definitely need to import more meat. Uh, what are we exporting for meat again? Uh, where was that? Up no down here. I think we're looking for. Uh, okay, that's shirts for what? Bread. That's not really necessary. Let's bring in meat. Let's do shirts for meat instead. There aren't going to be a lot of them, but that's fine. We can also have this place set to import meat. Why do I have to carry this? Uh, import not locally to maintain uh, 50. We can bring some meat in. Uh, we could also... Is there anything we're going to export here? Yeah, we're going to export the armor and the helms. And I think we don't need to export bows, but we could do exporting of war bows, actually exporting them, right? It's worth five. It takes one plank to make it, and the plank is worth two. So yeah, I think we we export war bows. So let's do a uh, war bow export when over twenty. So we have we have a good batch to transport if we need to. All right, how are we doing in the clay? We've already doused half that that deposit. Excellent. In a single winter, we picked them up and dis and used half of them. Lovely. Tiles could have a reserve of fuel, please. Tile works. Lurcher's off and running, or is he? Do we have a people here? We have no people here. Oh crap, a doodles. Well, we'll get them anyways soon. Soon, I'm sure. Yeah, see, they don't, they have to get, they have to cue them in sequence, it seems. So everybody has to get their helm before they can get their gambeson, and they have to get the gambeson before they can get their mail shirts. I see. Would have been nice to know that before. I would have focused just on the helms. All right, tailor shop should be cranking these things out pretty aggressively. That's a linen and dye. We do have dye here. Good, you're putting out, oh, you put out two hoods, is that? No, it's one. Just have two families working it, right? We sure do. Transporting, 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 pedaling, pedaling, crafting. Aha. And transporting. You're pretty quick at making those then. Just have to get all the materials in. Looks like they're cycling stuff through pretty darn fast here. You guys are doing uh, cloaks. We're now at 74 cloaks. Okay. Switch over to Gambeson, please, good sir. And Gambeson requires just linen. The dye shop is not actually urgently needed right now. Uh, let's make sure it's only one person. It is indeed. How much do we have for dye? We'll let it, we'll let a, a bit of it pile up, but not a lot. Hide and leather's just not keeping up in this place, eh? Are any of these houses not already assigned their backyards? No. Not there. What would we use with more families here? I think the answer is probably no. We're in March. Okay, we do have. Um, hmm. There's just not. Oh, it did change. The visuals changed on these. Okay, cool. We did leave a family over winter in the farms, and unfortunately, I think yeah, I left two families in the mill. That's too bad. They really worked hard on that, but um, flax farms are not needed right now, so. I don't know what else we'd be doing right now with them. Yes, we can put a body there. I mean, a family. I keep saying, acting like it's one person. It's not one person. Uh, you're good. And put another one here. There. Lovely. Now, are we are we shearing these fast enough? Looks like we do have a surplus of wool. Yarn's coming in. Good. The weaver's keeping up. It's great. Okay. Gotta keep the time running here. I keep pausing and forgetting to unlock it, and I'm looking around waiting for things to happen. The malt shop should be able to keep up now. 
Feast your eyes on our fine we are importing the barley, so they have it anyways. Malt, we have 20, okay. And ale is now slowly being produced. Enemy's been spotted. All right, we're spotted in the south here. Ravenhold. Time to jump to it, boys. Rally. Resources added to inventory. What? Oh, that's all the resources that were being carried by our inf our militia. They all instantly dump them. Like, it auto-transports. I like that. That's a good decision, I think. Because then everybody that gets drafted, they just drop what they've got. And instead of what be stuff being dropped, it, be, it like, auto-teleports to the deposit. That's smart. That's a smart play. This is always frustrating when you get, like... It happens in, like, Dwarf Fortress, uh, which I would love to get back to someday. Um, DF has an issue where it, it, there's even a built-in, like, hyper-used hack of auto-purge stuff that's dropped on the ground. Because the character will be carrying something, then they'll be like, oh, you know what, I'm thirsty. And they'll throw that thing randomly on the ground. Or, I'll I'll change this, this outfit out. And they throw a thing on the ground, but it's still theirs, you know? It's a weird sort of a thing in that game, but a lot of these games that like, have inventory actually being moved, be, it, there becomes an issue with the ability to actually transport said moved stuff. So, I'll take uh, a worker off each logging camp to get started on the berry production, because we are not short on berries, but it is berry season, so we should keep that going. Are we exporting dyes? I think we need to make sure we are. That's a crafted resource. It is available to export. Uh, we are going to set that as export when over, let's say, 50. And we'll get the vehicle running on that. Good. Because we can make, if we've got 197 berries still sitting here, after exporting it to other villages and after exporting, or and after the winter's done, we'll be fine for berries for a while, so. All right, an unsigned family needed to guide an ox. What ox? Is that for a, f for a pickup? Oh, you're plowing something? Oh, yes, the new fields need to be plowed. Okay, unassigned family needed for guiding an ox. All right, get to it. Guide that ox, friend. How's the army? Line up. Hopefully we're not. they're not, like, cutting through foreign territory here. If they do, they'll run into the militia. Or the, uh, the... Retinue. What I could have done is brought the archers, but I didn't. That's okay. So we have four. Uh, the capital has four groups. Where are you going, dude? Where are you going, dude? As I walk in strangely through here. Okay. There's another group. Move up. Move in. Men, attack your orders. Kill them. Your orders. Forward. March. Yes, sire. You guys exhausted they are. So the retinue doesn't start with uh, with its energy, it seems. Or they just get exhausted really badly moving through the fights, but looks like the retinue is not going to be needed. I don't think there's going to be a fourth group coming through here, but let's do this. All right. You know what I haven't done much of lately? I haven't looked at the world from this viewpoint. How's the fight going, boys? Huzzah! Huzzah! Hey, right, there you go. Oh, you just needed me to come by and help you out, didn't you? Huzzah! Did you get them all? You sure did, didn't you? No? Is this group still fighting? No, that's... Oh, that's two groups together. Oh, hi! There you are. Look at you. Didn't, didn't see you coming. Get him! Blah, 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 blah. Get him fast! <laughs> the slaughter in fast beat forward is just terrible. All right. Out you go, gentlemen. You may return home. You may return home. 
Alright, and we're gonna need uh, some bodies moved. Let's get some corpse running happening here. Uh, logging will be reduced for the season. We got plenty of logs, 107 timber. We can get a couple families working on uh, taking care of that. Are we on planks, actually? We're, we're okay. We're still okay on planks. Zero uh, free families. Or do we have somebody? We do have somebody, yeah. We do have somebody permanently working on the church for some bizarre reason. I'm going to take one family off there so we don't overdo it. Hunters are starting their hunting. Berry gatherers are beginning to gather. Uh, our foresters are not foresting. Hmm. Have to adjust that once the... Uh... Well, there's no building going on, so let's, let's do this. Two. And we'll make sure they are assigned properly. I think they're supposed to be over, like, here. In this majorly deforested area at the edge of the farms. So do that. Boop. Wonderful. So, did we build Waldbrand's Militia? Um, right here. That is Waldbrand's Militia. Hey, look at that! Einwood has got all their bows. Waldbrand has ten of them. Thirty-six, um... Thirty-six helms in place, though. Lovely. Excellent. Access to... Mm, what? Family request market stall access corpse pile? I'm gonna go ahead and say a solid no on that, friends. I'm gonna say a solid no. You're working in the corpse pile. You're uh, collecting dead bodies, working in the corpse pile, but the issue is they are trying to... Um, Trying to sell their household goods. That's where the where the complaint is coming from. Yeah, Waldbrand's pack station needs access, huh? The markets? The market stall. Uh no, pack stations should not be doing market stall work. Oh, wait. Oh. This family is working at the pack station. But their house maybe? Ah, I see. Your house is uh, carrot distribution issues. I'm okay with no carrots being distributed from the houses in this town. We'll see how that works. I think if we shut that off and we still have a steady, hefty flow of veg, we can really narrow our markets. Because having 100 tile, 100 like market stalls, or even like more realistically, 40 market stalls in a village this size, I mean, that's as many as the population. We've already got one market stall. For every uh, three families, basically. <laughs> Not basically, exactly. One market stall for every three families. So that's a little excessive, right? Seems a little excessive. Maybe other ways to do that. We do have a good amount of veg now. Good. April's already pumping out a lot of veg for us. We have vegetables, meat, and bread now. We're well, we're almost. We're at 37 homes, and I don't think any of these are doubles, so we should be 35 plots, and we have 37 homes filled. So yeah, everybody should be fine as long as the 35 is the number, and it is. Yeah, 35 vegetable and 37 bread, which means everybody's got their two types, even all the way down here. A clothing, not so much. The tier 2 guys need a second type. No, a second type. Is it, uh, hold on. Is tier two needing, I think tier two needs a, yes, shoes and clothes and stuff. Okay. How are we doing on the hot leather? We're okay for leather. Whoops. I've got it. I'm recording on live stream mode, so razzle dazzle. <laughs> Thanks for, uh, support it. First, the, uh, sub. Appreciate that. Um, right, right mid flow. Uh, which is right near almost the end. So these guys need, um, need to be making shoes. Let's do that, because they're real close to the tanner and stuff. They could pull hide straight from here, or leather, I should say, straight from here. We do need um, foresters, or foragers, I should say, over here. Let's get some more berries coming in. We have none. That's all the families. How are we doing on hunting? We do, do not have anybody on hunting. Well, we're going to switch that. Now only two families then, and we'll put you here. We'll make sure you don't sell, and you don't sell your wares. Okay, good. 
thin out this market, see if this works. This is kind of my test bed for the, uh, um, for the market situation here. We did, oh yes, we did build more houses down here, eh? How are we doing on hide? We're great on hide and leather. Not so good on eggs. Um, maybe it's a bad place for eggs. Maybe it's too cold. The, the chickens are all freezing too. Chickens, chickens can handle colder temperatures than humans can. If you don't count our, uh, our ability to wrap up in clothing and put on electric blankets. But other than that, yeah, we're definitely uh, feeble compared to some of these creatures' ability to survive in the cold. Go ahead and clear up this southern space here. Wonderful. And our uh, berry production here is not started yet. It needs to, for sure. How's the hunting? Is it steady? Do you have the people working? Good. Hides are there. Leather is not all being tanned. It could be. Uh, and then if we make a cobbler, we would cover these people's needs for shoes as well. So where would we do that? Uh, we could convert one of these into a cobbler, or we could actually put a cobbler in here. We could do that. Um, hold on. We can make some sort of bizarre housing. Oh, how about we do a little road? Like this. Cobbler lane. Uh, and then we could have... Uh, I don't know if there's going to be enough space. If we do our housing, like, any housing like this, to make, like, backyards. Can I rotate these? That one has a backyard. I don't hate that idea. Uh, cancel for a second. If I go a little further, are you going to get that yard for yourself? No, that even breaks that one's yard. Uh, okay. So instead, do what I was planning here and just do a cross here, here to here. There we go. Beautiful. Filling in the neighborhood. Things are going great there. Over in this, uh, in Waldbrand, do we have, well, before we, we got it, we got to put in cut here, but before we do, did we fix the, did we put in a cobbler? We're making the cobbler shop there now. You guys are pumping out your bows because I know because we've got them, right? We've got some coming, so not finished. We have a uh, tile. We've made enough tile. Good. Let's get this church upgraded. There we go. A little uh, laggy pause when I upgrade churches for some reason. I don't know why, but it does. Still not overdoing it on the planks and such. We're just kind of low numbers here. That's okay. Everybody seems to be doing okay. Uh, Alright, do we need more? Eggs? Probably. Let's go chicken coops for you. Chickens for you. Chickens for you, too. Everybody gets chickens. Alright, thanks everybody for joining me. I hope you had yourselves a good time. Got a few a few more days of this. We'll probably go... Uh, yeah, I, I might even go longer if I need to, but uh, forgive me if the timing is not 100% on for these next couple days. I literally am going to be working 14-hour days painting houses. So um, for the next at least three days. Well, not at least. It has to be done in three days. So if it's uh, 14 hours doesn't do it, then we're going to be busy, busy Drake and not so much recordy Drake. So I will render this one and I'll go to bed and hopefully get a good start on our... Uh, Three days of madness. Yep. So no stream with Eli either tomorrow. Yikes. Have yourselves all a great day. Thank you, everybody, so much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't catch that, my son does have a channel as well. He does a bit of different stuff. Uh, Skyrim and, and uh, Conan and other things, uh, if you're interested. And uh, we do a co-op, uh, some co-op games, including some... Uh, We've started a Vintage Story co-op Fridays with the family. We did previously, uh, um, what was it called? Um, I think in this war of mine, it was not this war of mine. It was called uh, dup, dup, dup. Uh, For the King. We did For the King 2 series. So if you haven't checked that out, that's on his channel. Uh, you can find that on our Discord. Thanks, everybody, so much for joining me. Really do appreciate you. Have yourselves a great rest of the day. See you in game.